in Australia traditionally black plague causes a crown canker so what happens is spores from the stubble are released in autumn they land on small plants which are in the vegetative stage on the leaves and cotyledons and then the pathogen grows from the leaves and cotyledons down to the crown of the plant to the base of the plant where it causes a canker in severe cases the plants fall over and die otherwise you just get a partial restriction of the um, xylem and phloem and yield loss Unfortunately in the last few years we've seen these stem cankers rather than occurring at the crown of the plant occurring up in the canopy so on the stems, on the branches, we even see flowers being infected and we see pods being affected and pods being aborted. And I guess over the last couple of years we didn't have a good idea about why this has started occurring. Maybe it was a new form of black leg or maybe it was something different. But we're now getting a bit of a handle on it and we think it's all due to the growth stage of the crop in the middle of the winter period. So it's in that winter period when it's cold and wet that the plants are being bombarded with spores. Now traditionally the plants are in the vegetative stage in the middle of winter. But what we're seeing in recent years is that people are sowing their crops earlier, mainly because of failed springs. They want to get their crops in the ground as early as they can. Varieties tend to be maturing early, uh, quicker maturing. We're also seeing in the last few years the autumns have been a lot warmer. So the crops have actually got out of the ground really quickly and developed a lot quicker. So all of this has meant that crops are starting to elongate and even flower in late winter. And that's the period that crops used to be vegetative. So in that infection period, instead of it occurring directly on the leaves, it's now starting to occur on the branches and stems and pods. And we think that's why we're seeing the cankers on the reproductive parts of the plant. Now, obviously, when we get this, it's causing, in some cases, direct yield loss. So when, obviously, pods are aborted, those pods don't yield at all. And if branches die, that whole branch is no longer yielding. So it's a new symptom that we're seeing. How prevalent it will be into the future, we don't know. But it does seem, as crops are maturing earlier, it's going to become a bigger problem. Some evidence we've got so far, anecdotal evidence, is that where people have sown crops later, um, they get a lot less of this symptom. So it does seem to be an early sowing problem and um, there may be some different types of resistance which are um, still effective against this type of black leg and it's probable that um, some of the foliar fungicides may also be effective but that research is yet to be done.